Hi, scholars. This is Ms. Sanchez, and we are going to practice some of our comprehension skills for Unit 1, Week 1. This week, we are still practicing making predictions. Now, you may have practiced a little bit with me with our read aloud for the dragon problem, but we're going to look at it again step by step with this quick story for the princess and the pea. So follow along with me while we talk about making predictions. Now, as we read, you will see yellow numbers. These numbers are going to guide our conversation as to where we will stop and make some predictions. Now, it's important when you make your predictions, you can use what you know, you can use what you've read so far, and you can also go back into the text and sort some evidence. So let's get started with the princess and the pea. Once upon a time, there was a prince who wanted to marry a true princess. He had searched the country and found many who claimed to be princesses, but each time he would find that something was not quite right. He wondered if he was doomed to live his life alone. Now, here's the number one. This is where we are going to make our first prediction. So after reading that short piece of the story, I'm going to make my first prediction. Thinking out loud, I'm going to wonder, will the prince ever find his real princess? Based on what I know already about fairy tales, I'm going to predict that he will eventually meet a real princess that he wants to marry because I already know how fairy tales usually end. They usually end happily ever after. So my first prediction is that he will find a princess. Let's keep reading and see if I'm right. On a rainy night, a girl knocked at the castle door. She said that she was a princess lost from her companions when thunder frightened her horse and he ran away with her into the night. The queen took pity on the shivering drenched girl. Could she be a real princess as she claimed? How could they know for sure? At that moment, the queen devised a plan. A room was prepared for the girl in which 20 mattresses were piled high onto a bed. Under the mattresses lay one small pea. A true princess would surely feel the pea underneath the mattresses. All night. Oh, let's stop. I have a number two. It's time for me to make my second prediction. So for my second prediction, I'm going to think out loud again. I don't think anyone could feel a pea under 20 mattresses. So think about how small is one little pea and how thick would one mattress be, let alone 20 mattresses. So my prediction is that she will not feel the pea. I will make the prediction that she won't feel it there, but I think that the prince will marry her anyway. Could she be telling the truth? Will she feel the pea? Will she end up marrying the prince and living happily ever after? Again, I'm going to use what I know about the fairy tales and predict that even though I don't think she will feel the pea, I think she will still end up marrying the prince and living happily ever after. Let's keep reading. All night the girl tossed and turned, yet she could not find a comfortable position. After no sleep, she rose the next morning to find the queen in the main hall. I trust you slept well, said the queen. I do not wish to seem ungrateful for the warm bed, said the girl, but I fear I am black and blue from something hard in the bed that kept me awake. Aha, thought the queen. She is a true princess. Just then the prince entered the main hall. He thought he had never seen anyone so beautiful in his life. Here goes the number three. Let's think about our third prediction. So thinking out loud, my second prediction was not correct. It was incorrect. She did actually feel the pee despite what I thought would happen. I read that she felt the pee, so she must be a real princess. Since the prince is impressed by her beauty and the queen was happy to find out she was a true princess, Maybe I can confirm my prediction that the prince will marry her after all. So that's my first prediction. Again, I predicted from the very beginning that he would marry her after all. Let's keep reading and find out. I am Princess Millicent, she said. 
Your mother graciously took me in, and yet I've repaid that kindness with nothing but bitter complaints. Your complaints are justified, said the queen. She told them about the pea. Only a real princess would have detected such an object. Immediately, the prince asked for her hand in marriage. Soon the prince and princess wed and lived happily ever after. The end. So scholars, while you're reading, it's always good to make predictions. Making predictions can help you remember details in the story and it can help you better comprehend what's going on. You can remember what happened in the beginning, the middle of the end, and you can remember important details when you're doing things like sequencing or summarizing the story. Now with predictions, you can always use what you know. For example, for my first prediction, I used what I knew about fairy tales to predict that they would end up living happily ever after. You can also use text evidence. You can say in paragraph three, I seen that she was starting to feel uncomfortable. In paragraph five, I seen that she discussed with the queen about how she didn't sleep well and the queen told her it was because of the pee. So you can use what you know and what you've read to help you make predictions for the beginning, middle and end of the story. You can even make predictions to extend the story past that. So let's practice that scholars. Based on everything you've read and based on all of the predictions we've made together, what do you think will happen with the prince and princess after they get married? Will they continue to live happily ever after forever? I don't know. Let me hear your predictions later. Bye fourth grade.